Hey everyone, it's Anna Mae and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my college backpack. So I'm a final year in college, I'm doing my last couple of months. I did one of these before, I think when I used a tote bag, um, but I switched over to the backpack and maybe I've done one with the backpack before as well. But everything changes from year to year and you, you know, get more used to it and you really adapt throughout the couple of years that you're there. So I thought I would just show you what's in my backpack now and maybe how it's changed since before. The reason I switched from a tote bag to a backpack was that I actually had kind of a bad fall. Um, I'm a pretty short person um, and I had a lot of stuff in this tote bag at one point. I was just trying to carry a lot of things and I was finding it hard, like around that time. To, I kept getting like burst blood vessels in my shoulder from carrying it as well. And yeah, basically I had a bad fall. I bruised the whole side of my thigh. It was just not good. I literally just got tipped over by it. Uh, when I tried to reach for something else so I decided to invest in this backpack so with all that said I guess we'll just get into it I did get the plain like the most plain black one because I didn't want to ever have to buy a backpack again basically I did use a Fjallraven Kanken and I will link up here I think my review of that bag if you want to hear that I used that for a couple months um, then I switched to the tote and then I've had this for over a year and a half I'd say. So we'll just get into it. There are just two pockets in this version. So instead of pens I have lip gloss. This is a really cute lip gloss from NYX in these um, little kind of pen pockets here. Uh, in this one I do actually have a pen um, and a little Hello Kitty USB drive. Classic. Um, I keep like I have a little um, hand sanitizer here attached to the zipper and I actually use this a lot I'm gonna need to replace the sanitizer in it because yeah it's just really handy to have this in your backpack and I like having it attached to an inside zip because then it's not like hanging on the outside of your bag and looking kind of weird and um, usually there's a lot of junk in here but I did just clear it out a minute ago so that's pretty good in here I just keep like plasters and other like emergency things um, I always make sure to have a pack of tissues with me because I became prone to nosebleeds like randomly when I was like 19 or 20 so I always have a pack of tissues there because it's really awkward if you get them in college um, and then in this big pocket I don't actually have anything in here really at the moment I have a pen but that's if I have something to carry that day or something that's important it can go in there and um, but for the most part I keep it pretty clear I don't carry a bunch of crap in my backpack but I do carry a lot. I don't need to bring textbooks with me and um, that is one thing I think that's different depending on your course or your country. Anyways my textbooks aren't typically huge, most of them are online and then this is something I had to read. You can just see it all tabbed, I just decided to bring it out and um, it was for a politics class and yeah like that's the kind of thing I'd only have to carry around occasionally but for the most part I don't need to. I do carry a laptop with me that is honestly just in case I like really need to get something in dur like during class or class is really boring and I want to go on my laptop and I know that's terrible because it, it looks like you're taking notes but um yeah I'm just being really honest here so this back this backpack does have like a built-in laptop pouch and I don't have my laptop in anything other than just this laptop pouch I have a MacBook Air 13 inch not the most recent kind like two generations back or something um or maybe just one generation back but it's really really great it does not have the best storage but we did got to get a deal on it because of that um, and I don't always bring it to class but that is kind of the reason why I use this backpack instead of just a tote bag other than that I would have whatever like notebooks I use for that class um, or the classes I'm taking because of my schedule I think is another big part of it I don't have to go like straight from one class to the next to the next to the next I only have like I usually have like a two hour class or a three hour class every day so you know I have it's more like condensed and I never have to have like multiple copy books with me I also do take my notes physically if I take them at all this is really exposing how like not studious I am but um 
if I am going to take notes, I'm going to take them written, unless it's like a group Google Doc with everyone in that class. Um, <laughs> then it's all this other random stuff, which is really what I carry around in my backpack. So, I have my Erin Condren Life Planner. Uh, if you are interested in hearing about this, isn't the cover so cute? I will link my planner channel. Uh, it'll just be linked at the end. It's the other... I'm wearing orange in the profile picture. Um, but I have all about that. And I think next week's video is probably going to be all about my Erin Condren Life Planner. Because um, I know some people are interested in it. And it's pretty cool. I am like a sticker planner. If you didn't know. So you can always check that out on my planner Instagram either. And at Animate Plans. But basically I bring that because one of my friends in college is also a planner person. And we do little planning sessions in class if it's boring. I Basically I hate all my classes this semester. I'll say it, um, they're all terrible. So that's that. Um, <laughs> I just really don't like the, the modules. So whatever. This is the notebook I am using planning my move, uh, basically, and all the visa applications and other kind of career things I'm doing, um, like with Irish Academy of Public Relations and stuff like that. So I thought this was a cute notebook. I got it for a Christmas present and I'm a notebook hoarder, so I was trying to use them up. And it's actually been really good. I've been writing things down. So if I get an email and I'm in class or something and I need to like remember it, I need to write, write it down on like pen and paper. It just works better for me. So I always carry this um, as well as that, of course, my little pencil case. This is from Kath Kitson and it just is really cute. You know, it, it's cute. I'd rather if it was pink, but it's it's cute, you know, does the job. I've had it for three years now. I've had it like since I was in college. And lastly, I have my visa application. So that's the thing that you carry around in your college backpack. Basically, it's because I would go to the library right after class so that I didn't go home and just watch Riverdale. So as well as that, I'm always sure to carry around a water bottle. I am a dancer in college, not like as a dance major. I just dance as I always talk about this um, on our like varsity team and we're competing soon so you know hydrate or dihydrate and uh, really helps the muscle recovery so I drink like three at least of my 750 milliliter camelback every day and um, so I always carry that around with me and it's all stickered and cute so that is it for what is in my college backpack if you have any questions just leave them down below and if you want to hear more about my Erin Condren planner and just generally my planning system or anything about applying for a visa and moving internationally when you're 21, oh my god. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel, I'll be doing videos on that in the very near future once competition season is over. Um, as well as that I have some like beauty related videos coming up uh, in the very near future as well about product fails and also I'm going to be doing kind of a trial on that John Frieda shampoo with the new highlight one. So. We'll see about that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. My Instagram is at anime.yt if you want to follow me there. I'm pretty active on it. And yeah, subscribe to see more from me and my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.